Students in Los Angeles Unified who aren't vaccinated against the coronavirus no longer will be barred from attending classes in person this fall, with the Board of Education voting unanimously Tuesday, May 10, to postpone its COVID-19 student vaccination mandate. The board, upon the recommendation of Superintendent Alberto Carvalho, agreed to align its mandate with the state's timeline for implementing its own vaccine requirement. State officials had intended to require California students in grades 7 through 12 to get their shots by the start of the 2022-23 school year. But they recently announced that the state would push back its mandate until at least July 2023 because none of the COVID-19 vaccines for children have received full approval by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Prior to Tuesday's action by the school board, potentially tens of thousands of students 12 years old and older in the nation's second-largest district were in jeopardy of being prohibited from stepping foot on campus in the fall. Due to the lateness of the hour, the board did not discuss the agenda item before approving the change. School board president Kelly Gons last month had expressed confidence that, should the need arise, the board would respond again in the future to changing pandemic circumstances. We have shown, especially in this spring semester, that our schools are safe, that because of all of the protocols and I also had belief and confidence that just as we've been nimble, should it be merited, we would be able to shift to more rigid protocols if that were necessary. District staff, as part of a report to the board, had cited several factors that went into the decision to align the district's student vaccination mandate with the state's timeline, including the importance of having students learn in person alongside their peers on an already high vaccination run. Officials also pointed out that schools have had overall low transmission rates and few campus outbreaks, that vaccines and therapeutic treatments are now available, and that the pandemic is transitioning to an endemic stage. Additionally, because the district's vaccination mandate for employees remains in effect, 100% of staff on campuses are vaccinated. 